So far, we've made top bar hives and top bar swarm boxes. I showed you how to make the top bars on them. So at this point, I am going to make a stand for the two top bar hives that I built. The stand will be made out of two by fours with uh, sawhorse brackets used to set the legs. I'm using these sawhorse brackets on the back. There is a chart that tells you how high you want it to be and how long the boards actually need to be. So if I want the sawhorse height to be 36 inches, it says the legs need to be 33 and a half inches in length. So we're going to go with that and cut two legs at 33 and a half inches. At thirty-three and a half. Let's head and line that up. All right, we are good. So that's our first cut. We're going to need four legs at this length. However, any scrap pieces, and this is a decent sized piece of two by four, we're going to save those because once we get the sides, we got to get the, the cross beams and then we got to get the cross pieces that go ahead and you set the, the hives on. And then I'm going to build, a, add a couple of pieces to lock it into place. So this is the beginning of it. Let me get the uh, other legs cut, four legs per side. I've got two legs cut, so I have a quarter of it done. And then we'll pick it up from there. I've got all the two by fours cut for the legs here. This is one of the brackets outside of the package. So, so to assemble these, you slip this over the two by four run it down to the top where this notch is and then nail it into place through the provided holes let's get this down onto a solid surface these nails I'm using are leftover joist hanger nails so they're hot dip galvanized exterior good for weather all right we'll roll this over you got two holes on the other side as well Grab my next two by four. Slip that up in there. Line her up. Now I'm checking when I line this up to make sure that it not only lines up here at the top, but that at the other end, the, the two boards are lined up as well. There we go. Go ahead and get a nail into this. First one's down. So in a nutshell, put your two by four in here. These legs on both ends, two by four. We 
you spread them out, they clamp into place and they hold it. We've got these stand pieces here and here together. The two boards that are in them on these two boards are just scrap wood that I put in for the time being. These are the boards that will go in them. So I've measured them out to make sure that they're long enough to fit two top bar hives. So what I'm doing is centering the hives on these boards so that there's two and they're equally spaced. Now for the fun part. I cut several of these boards. These are a little over 12 inches. And what I intend to do is mount those just like that on either side to provide a cradle that I can put the top bar hives into. Once the screws are started, I'm just gonna butt this piece of two by four right up against where the hive is and drive these two screws in. Now, I do it for this one. I take this board down, line it up against the board that's in back, square these up with the back ones and do the back ones. And that's looking good. Now I'll do the two on the back and then we'll have a complete set for a stand. Now when I build the stands out there, again, these pieces will go where this one is. There's a set of holes in this. I'm gonna run screws through it and screw them in um, in order to lock the legs into place. And then we'll set the distance between these. A Little bit of advice now. I've finally got this stand put together. But I'm gonna take it apart to load it into the truck to take it with me. So since I'm making a pair of these, I need to go through and label them so that I know which parts go together. So, very simple stand. Now I don't wanna go more than two hives to a stand like this because with top bar hives, you've gotta lift the bars out. And if you go with more than two, in order to get the front bars on the center ones, you end up standing in front of the hive and that will tick the bees off. So this way I can stand either behind or to the side of the hive on either one of them when working on them and not be have to stand in front of it.